You can have $0 in the bank, you can be overdrawn, and have $20,000 in credit card debt, and have just lost your job, and you can still have an abundant mindset where you have the mindset of, I'm going to find that next opportunity, and I'm going to find the money to invest in this next you know, way to start my business. I'm going to find the next person who has my answer. That's the difference between a poor mindset of everything's happening to me, or I can't get out of this, or an abundant mindset of I'm going to find, I'm going to create, no matter what, this is going to happen for me. Welcome, everybody, to The Chris Harder Show, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success, knowing that when good people like you make good money, they can then do great things. My name is Chris Harder, and several times per week, I will bring you epic guests, solo episodes, and every single tool, trick, and skill set you need to grow your business, grow your money mindset, and to grow your wealth to levels that you have never reached before. I've ended up in a unique place in life where I've got the experience, the connections, and all of the secrets that it takes to be successful. And I'm lifting the curtain to reveal it all to you in an effort to help put you in a position of abundance so great that you can then be as generous as possible. So let's lock arms and let's get started. And we're back with another episode of He Said, She Said. So what's your glossy tip, babe? My glossy tip today is just to remember to drink your water. And if you are like me and you're a toddler who needs flavored water then this is the easiest way to do it. (laughs) And there's this trend that was going around on TikTok that's called sexy water and just always trying to make your water like work for you. So you drink it, like flavor it, put a bunch of stuff in it. And it's trending because it's the realization of what we realized with Glossy because why would you drink water that doesn't have functions to it, like functionality? So wait, sexy water to get you to drink your water. Yeah. Would that be like if you put those boob stickers on a bottle of water, then I'd be that like 10 times more likely to drink it? They don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so Lori has this concept because I'm sure all men are this You're going to share my invention that could Oh, I know. Millions. Somebody else is going to steal this now. But it's for... it's. So genius. And it would work so well in it's Spencer's. So genius. If you remember Spencer's in the mall that was like gag gifts. Totally. Okay, so. I'm dating myself. This is funny because I can open up the fridge and not see what I'm looking for, even though it's in front of my face. Or I can open up a cabinet and I'll be like, babe, where's the, I don't know, stapler? And she's it's like, it's in right there. there. I'm like, it's not. I looked really closely because I was so afraid you're going to tell me it's in there. And she'll come right over and point right to it. It's like, I can't see what's in front of my face. I heard like all guys are the same way. So she's like, I need to invent boob stickers and put them on all the things that are important that you normally go look for. So when you open the fridge, when you open the cabinet, your eyes will be drawn right to the thing that you're normally looking for. And I think it's genius. I'll be like, where's where's the milk? And I'm like, look for the boobs. (laughs) (laughs) So if you put that on bottles of water, that'd be sexy water to make me drink more water. There you go. Not what we're talking about, but okay. And the coupon code is happy for 25% off. Okay, let's get into it. Go to getglossy.com. Thank you so much. Yeah, baby. You got to tell them where to go. Go to getglossy.com. Use coupon code HAPPY. You get 25% off. All right, so we're having a, you know, we do our daily walk and this morning's walk, 4.6 miles. Good job, babe. We got on the topic of it costs too much to be poor. And this is actually a famous saying, so it's not our saying. Actually, the real saying is it's too expensive to remain poor. And what they mean by that is When you are in a poor state of mind, because that's what poor is, it's actually not a number. It's actually not a dollar amount in the bank account, contrary to popular belief. When you're in a poor state of mind, then things unfold outside of your favor instead of things happening in your favor. A real simple example is this. If you're at a poor mindset and that has created a situation where you don't have enough money in the bank account for what you need, then what happens is now you're forced to maybe have a residence in a neighborhood that's not so great. And because it's not so great, maybe you have to park outside. And because you have to park outside and it's not a not so great residence, now maybe somebody comes by and they sideswipe your car. And because they sideswipe your car and because you're in that situation, you can't afford to repair it. So now it just kind of stays that way. And because it stays that way, somebody else comes along and they door ding it. So like, oh, it's kind of that way already. And these things compound. Another great example is like, let's say you've got parking tickets. You might get 50 bucks in parking tickets, but if you can't pay them or if you're in a poor mindset and you're like, ooh, I don't want to put the money towards this right now, then that $50 parking ticket you know, turns into 200 300 400 And that, then you say, oh, look, this happened to me. All of this is a condition 
of having a poor mindset, not having a certain dollar amount in the bank account. Okay, I wanna give real examples, like my real life examples of this, because I actually brought this up on the walk because I saw a car parked that was in really rough condition. Like it was missing a door panel, it was missing the gas cap, like it was all dinged up and it reminded me of my car yep. when I was in my, when I was like 20 years old. And I remember when I was looking for an apartment, I was moving into my second apartment and I wanted to save money on the apartment. And I was like, you know what? I want to have a, like a little extra spending money and I, or I want to go cheaper. I want to go as cheap as I can on this apartment. And so I did. That's what I found. I found a decent location, but I went with the cheapest apartment to quote unquote save money. Now this gets comical because in order to save money, I went with an apartment that did not have parking. It had street parking and I convinced myself that I would find decent street parking. Number one. Never ever did I get any street parking. Like I had to park so far away and most of the time illegally because maybe it would be, I got home late at night. I got home around 9.30 from my job. So all the parking was taken because I lived in a college area. And what would happen is I would think that I could rush out on time and no, I got a ticket. And then because I only parked on the street because there was no parking in this particular area trying to save money, then I would constantly get my car like dinged and dented and then it got broken into twice so then I had to pay for two windows I had to pay for repairs on my car and then my car ended up ultimately getting stolen and I was what felt like in debt for me you guys I had $800 in parking tickets that were mounting so me trying to save money ultimately ended up costing me so much money and I realized this fairly quickly and moved out of the area to a place with parking so that all of that stuff wouldn't continue to happen. That you could have afforded all along. I could so have this is all what along. we mean by poor is not a dollar amount. Poor is a mindset where you make the choice of, ooh, I want to cut back here because I don't want to part with this money. And then it causes you to part with five times as much, 10 times as much money than if you just made the right abundant choice in the beginning. I also want to share, I was hanging out with people who also had a very poor mindset about life, about their job, about their perspective on everything. And that was actually ultimately, I went and drove to their house to hang out and stayed the night over there. And it was a bunch of girlfriends house. And that's actually where my car got stolen. So it's kind of like all of these decisions, they lived in an even worse area than I did. It's all of these decisions just kept mounting up that I was choosing these poor mindsets and it just kept costing me so much money. And actually the job that I was at, it ended up going out of business. I was at a, a wireless, I worked at a cell phone place and it went out of business. And the only people that I hung around who had a better mindset were the people who ended up being able to connect me to somebody to get me another job right away. When I went to my other friends, like, Hey, is anything hiring? Do you know of anyone? They knew of nobody. They knew of nothing that could help me. They didn't have money that they could help me with. It was like a desperate situation. And so the importance of up leveling your mindset and up leveling the people that you're around to not have a poor mindset as well. Yep. And this, by the way, is at every economic class. So I want to be very clear. This is not two people no. that have a bunch of money that are sitting here saying, oh, poor is a mindset. It's not a situation. Poor is a mindset at every single economic class. I have friends and acquaintances that have, let's say $100,000 extra in the bank. And yet they're afraid to make that investment or to hire that coach. I have friends that have over a million dollars extra in the bank and they're afraid to make that investment or to join this thing. I've got friends that have $10 million in, you know, liquid investable assets. And they're afraid that all their money is, is going to go away. So they hoard it instead of putting it where it needs to be. So it never goes away just because it's a certain dollar amount in the bank. And that's the point we're trying to make. Poor is a mindset, not a target. There's never a number where you're like, ah, now I've got a wealthy mindset. Ah, now I've got an abundant mindset. You can have $0 in the bank. Hell, you can have $0 in the bank. You can be overdrawn and have $20,000 in credit card debt and have just lost your job. And you can still have an abundant mindset 
where you have the mindset of, I'm going to find that next opportunity and I'm going to find the money to invest in this next you know, way to start my business. I'm going to find the next person who has my answer. That's the difference between a poor mindset of everything's happening to me or I can't get out of this or an abundant mindset of I'm going to find, I'm going to create no matter what this is going to happen for me. You know, if you, if you look at, if you guys read any books on like the spiritual laws of money, one of them is that money wants to circulate and it wants to grow, but it can't grow when you're really in fear over like, I got to keep it. I got to hold it. I got to grip it. It's never going to come to me. I got to save it. I got to cut back. And I know that that feels really counterintuitive because when you don't have money, it doesn't feel like that's the thing that you should do is go and spend it. Yes, babe. Like, I don't mean to jump in, but this is exactly what I'm saying. So a poor mindset is I'm not going to spend it because that seems like the wrong thing to do. An abundant mindset is I'm going to spend it in the wisest place I Mm. can. That's the difference. Mm. A poor mindset is I'm not going to part with this. An abundant mindset is I'm going to part with this in a very smart way that gives me the highest chances of getting a nice ROI on it. You know, this reminds me of yesterday, we brought somebody into our planning session and so many people, and we've had this mindset in the past of either we don't, you know, oh, we don't need someone. We can have a planning day on our own, but we do want to improve this course that we want to do, or we want to improve this program, but we're not necessarily the people who are going to be able to improve it because we're in it, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's so often we're just in our lives, we're in our business. And all we do when we go like plan for next year is do more of the same. So you're just more exhausted doing more of the same exact thing. When a smart investment is go get somebody who maybe works in a lot of other people's businesses, who gets to see what's working and what's not and invest, invest in someone else's time, invest in growing, invest in yourself, invest in a mastermind. Like if you're stuck, if you feel yourself wanting to pull back and you just don't even know how in the world you're going to grow or get more income or change something, that's a huge sign that you're probably gripping on your money and in fear. And that's just like the spiritual law of money. It's, it's not going to grow if you're gripping it and afraid. You have to put that somewhere that's going to help you grow. This is something fun. You just brought up uh, you know, the person that we hired to come in and give us new insights on our programs and our products and the investment that we made to do that. Here's what's really cool. Lori and I, you may look and be like, oh, you're at the the perfect financial situation, but we want to transcend to our next level as well. So a couple weekends ago, we had a friend in town and we got onto this topic and uh, we were touring this awesome $20 million house. And we're like, wait a minute, let's all commit to doing everything extra to change our our money mindset to an entirely new level by the end of the year. So we committed that every day we will take uh, some kind of positive propaganda action, like we have to listen to a book on money or money mindset or something like that. Every week, we will go put ourselves into an aspiring situation. So we've been choosing like these epic, epic uh, open houses to go through each week. We've been popping into them on a weekend. And then we decided that we're going to start getting back to meditating and getting back to visualization and not missing a day. And we've stuck to it ever since we committed to that a couple of weeks ago. And already it gives us such an exciting, positive outlook on how easy it can be to go from where we are right now to that next level that we want to be at. So you could even say that we have a poor mindset If we're just staying the same, to have an abundant mindset would be to demand more out of yourself and do the actions to back up to normalize what that would feel like to demand more out of yourself. And that doesn't mean more work. It doesn't mean more hustle. It doesn't mean more action. For some of you, it might. But in our case, it's if we have the situation where we each have startups in front of us and we have a limited amount of time to also make money at the same time. Uh, Because we don't pay ourselves anything out of our startups for three years. Absolutely not a penny out of our startups. We're like, okay, how do we call in a lot more money with a little bit of time that we have because our startups come first and foremost? And that's the challenge that we've taken on. And it's actually a really fun feeling. It's a really fun challenge to kind of take on. Yes, I am loving it. And we have an opportunity for you to put yourself in an up-leveled situation as well. What's that? Oh, dinner series. Our last dinner series. (laughs) Our last dinner series of the year coming up second week of November. Guys, we throw a wedding each time that we do dinner series. And this one is in the dopest, most 
upscale. Fav- one of our favorite places. Epic venues ever, ever in Laguna Beach. You have to be there. And there's going to be so few seats when we open them. It's crazy because the venue's a little bit smaller than what we normally would book for this kind of a thing. And it's a gala, which is going to be so much fun. So an entire day of learning and advanced networking followed by an epic cocktail hour of networking and then followed by this incredible gala. I can't wait for you guys I mean, to be there. You can change your entire life and network in one day. That's what we're hearing from this event is if you're feeling a dry spell on, I don't even know who to go to, to ask questions. I don't even have anyone to tap into. I don't even know what those next steps should be in my business. It's because you're not asking enough people and you're not out in the world enough to see what is working and talk to the people who have your answers. And so in one one day you could totally change your network and your life. And that's why this was created was Chris and I like to work really fast connecting people. And I will say, I think we are some of the best curators of a room where people Comfortable are connection, connecting for real and they're connecting deeply without having it feel really crazy transactional. It is powerful. I think you and I have spent so many years doing that for ourselves that we know what that looks like and what it feels like to not make it, you know, awkward. It's already awkward enough. Yep. So definitely come and check it out because Laguna number one is like one of the most beautiful spots on planet earth. So stay an extra day if you can, but the hotel is where Chris and I go to celebrate a bunch of our milestones in life. Yeah. I mean, this is Uh, over the moon aspirational, what we're about to throw. And it's going to be accessible for you. So here's a chance for you to really exercise investing your money in the right areas to help up level and throw yourself into a situation that's going to make you think bigger and think more abundantly. Now, like I said, it's going to be really hard to get a seat because there's not that many that we can open up because all the people who have memberships already from the first and second one are pretty much filling this one. So to have a shot at getting a seat right now, hit stop and text us the word dinner to 310 0416. And that'll put you on the early access list. We're going to do a quick webinar and then give you access. It'll be like a free for all, like crabs in a bucket. Who gets a seat? So seriously, stop right now or hit stop and text us the word dinner to 310-421-0416. We'll send you a little confirmation back that you're on the early access list. Text dinner to 310-421-0416. All right, guys, thanks for listening. And why don't you commit to up leveling your money mindset at the same time that we do. And we'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.